So you define the next what you do is you define the role sensitivity of the roles, right? There's another attribute that you can assign to the roles. Uh, what it does is is basically um, provides the ability to organize the org authorization structure in the company with the transaction PFCG. Okay, so you maintain or do you maintain the sensitivity, role sensitivity, um, and let's go and execute. So by four, by default you get four role sensitivity list, right? Which is part of your BC set. So this is one of the BC sets that we activated for role sensitivity. So you maintain the role sensi sensitivity uh, to use as an attribute uh, by creating or editing the role sensitivity sensitivity values. Okay. So use this with PFCG to uh, organize the authorization structure for your company. And in PFCG, you can specify that only roles with role sensitivity of, a rest, of restricted or authorized to access the internal company portal, for example. Okay. So you already have this four. Uh, if you want to add something, that's a fifth one. Uh, let's say fifth one. Oh, let's say you want to add. Top secret or you know something you know. Say compliant. Compliance. Sensitive. Okay, click on save. No. So SAP has already given you for four that you normally use, right? Normal, confidential, restricted, and classified, you could have something, if any other classifications are there from a role sensitivity standpoint, you can create your own, okay? So define and then save it and it passes you for a transport request, you put it in a transport request. Okay, the next you need to do is to maintain a role status. 